Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are here with beautiful Rose Stone, who is wearing a lot of her fancy new gear that we got from the iceberg. I am wearing some of our new gear that we got from the iceberg, including our awesome new jacket. We have our new saddlebag with little Poppy. So thank you guys so much for all of the absolutely amazing names for our new little collection of seals that we now have. We now have all of the seals that are available in the game, and I think the iceberg has headed off, so I'm really glad we snagged them all we could. That was very very exciting and I've decided to name this one Poppy after the Arctic Poppy and some of the names you guys suggested were just amazing and I'm still going through the list to name all of the other ones but because I have a soft spot for spotted animals we have Poppy with us full name Arctic Poppy uh, or Arctic Iceberg Poppy because <laughs> we found her on an iceberg so she has fancy names but we'll just call her Poppy. Rose Stone is really happy to be here with us too and there's been some huge updates you guys there's a whole new area Area. There's a whole new area called South Hoof, and I think we might be able to visit it today because as soon as I popped on to see what's going on in Star Stable, we have this text message from James. Come quickly, extremely important. So we've got a text, and we're going to click on it to read it, and we're going to see what it says. Disaster! Get here quick! Why are you still reading? Emergency! Hurry! Okay! So come quickly! Extremely important, right? For Pinta and talk to James, okay? Well, apparently there's a disaster going on. But, you know, James isn't my favorite guy in the world, I'll be honest. So he can just wait for a second while I take care of poor Rose Stone. Oh my goodness. And thank you guys for reminding me. Yes, I do know that there is a way that we can have... Oh, look at our little seal. That is too cute. There you go, Rose Stone. Have a delicious orange so you can feel a little bit better. But I do know that there is a way that we can actually have our horses taken care of, even if we're not on. But it uses up a lot of the star coins. And so I always tell myself, oh, I'm definitely going to like make sure I at least log on every day to take care of my horse and then I end up not being able to do that and poor Rose Stone if I keep doing it then we'll, we'll have to see what happens we'll, we'll see if we can make her feel better all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna head to Fort Pinta then we have so many things we need to do after all Justin has disappeared on us he's wandered off set sail across the ocean for who knows where with an evil woman there's still the missing stable hand that we need to try to help find back over at Silverglade Vineyard. Silverglade Vineyard itself has had a complete redesign and we haven't even gone over to visit with the Baroness and check that out yet. We still need to level up Rose Stone. She is currently level 8 and we want to try getting her all the way up to level 15 because I would just love to see her there. We haven't run a championship yet and one day when she's in a better mood I would love to try running a championship race. And if you guys have any more advice or tips on that, it would be great. I know it's mostly just about making sure your horse is in a great mood, having her high level, and being able to, like, uh, have the gear. So we'll save up for the gear. And I'm really excited how many of you guys love the idea. In fact, let's go by, you know, I'm going to make James wait for a second. He could have his disaster. He's not the nicest kid in the world, so I don't feel bad making him wait. We'll run by the pet shop, and let's go see what pets are over there. And we'll have to see, I think they're only available for star coins. We'll have to see if they're available for star coins or for shillings. And I was really happy with how many of you guys thought it was a real fun idea to set a goal of trying to collect, no Cloud Song, I was trying to avoid crushing into you, of trying to collect all of the possible pets that they can have in Star Stable. So that sounds like the perfect, the perfect quest for us. Even if it might be seen as a waste of star coins. And then we can rotate our pets. So let's come by. Hello! I've got also I'm really glad that we've got like really, really cute saddlebags now too. So that makes me pretty happy. Alright, Rosestone, you guys stay here for just a second. <gasps> we don't even have a puppy or a kitten yet. And we just got a bunch of seals that I don't even know where I'm going to I I, I almost need like a roleplay-esque idea of where we keep our whole bunch of seals. <laughs> Cause where are they staying? Where are they staying when we're not with them? But we'll have to think about that. Oh wow, there's not as many pets as I remember. So I think it's a really good thing we picked up the seals when we did. Are there different pets everywhere or are there only pets here? Huh. So yeah, they're only... Oh, look at this. A black Labrador puppy. Brown Labrador puppy. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this bunny. The smart bunny. Kind bunny. Cute bunny. Yeah, we just might have to make it a goal. How many other like unique pets do they offer, you guys? I really would love to know. How often is that a thing that happens in Star Stable? Or is it pretty much just these guys who are absolutely adorable? Oh, wow, that's a very pretty horse. Uh, these guys who are absolutely adorable and these seals. 
So we'll have to figure that out. All right, well, let's keep going. We have a lot to do. Let's go poke James and see what he wants since he's having his little disaster. I shouldn't be so mean. We need to go. When someone asks for your help, it's a mark of a good person to go and help him out. So let's come over. He looks like he's pretty upset. All right. Um, come quickly. Why did it take you so long to get here? It's all falling apart here. Or at least it's the beginning of the end for my business. And you just waltz in slower than a sloth. No tips for you, Saga. James, well, let's, let's talk about this. The South Hoof Lighthouse goes dark. Nightmare Saga, you've got to help me. What's happened, you ask? The lighthouse on the South Hoof Peninsula has gone out. It's a complete disaster. No tourist ships dare to come close to Fort Pinta if the lighthouse isn't there to guide them. And if there are no tourists, then don't make then I don't make money. This is so dreadful for me. If I uh, shouldn't just call the lighthouse keeper and ask what's going on, <laughs> do you think I'm stupid? Of course I've done that already. I've called loads of times, but there's no answer. Something must have happened. You'll help me though, right, Saga? You will? Sweet. I have an idea. A while back, I bought a pair of really nice, cozy little little boats <laughs> that I thought about hiring out to the tourists. For some reason, though, nobody ever hired them out, uh, which I think is weird because going out on a boat is super fun. <laughs> Poor James, he's just smushed under everybody. Oh, and there's the cute Easter gear. I wish I had been able to get the Easter gear. Okay, focus, Siri, focus. So I've been told. Uh, so he's never been on a boat. Interesting. I wonder if he was born here. But anyway, if you can borrow one so you can... But anyway, you can borrow one so you can sell over to South Hoof. What do you think, Saga? Why don't I just go myself? Um, I am um, allergic to water. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. So unfortunately, I can't go. The boat is down there between the pier and the beach. Good luck. All right. So we're going to go and check out this boat that apparently he wants us to work on. All right. Let me, let me accept this invitation from Stephanie. And then I'm just going to say... Uh, a quick hello. Uh, busy now, but nice to meet you. There we go. And that's the usual rule. <laughs> ah, and then I need to slow down and say, ah, thank you. Ah, and then I walk into a wall trying to reply. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, that's the usual rule. When I'm recording you guys, I usually won't stop to chit chat, but I do like to see what's going on with all of you. It's really fun, and I know a lot of you guys really love, like, popping up in the videos now and then. But yeah, usually, I'm so shy, I'm so shy. Of course, Siri is so shy. Alright, so let's see where the supposed boat is. Oh, is that our boat? Okay, we need to turn around a little bit. And I know eventually, what do you think, Poppy? Eventually, let's turn, turn, turn. We need to come over. And check out what's happening on the boat. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful mistletoe. That is so pretty. All right, so let's see. Do we need to get off the horse? I think we need to get off the horse. No? Okay, so we're inspecting the boat. And the conditions are fulfilled. So then I think I need to turn. This boat looks waterlogged, you guys. I don't know about this. I don't know if you should legally be allowed... <laughs> <laughs> to to allow people in that boat. So I think we need to turn back to him and let him know we've investigated the boat. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Poppy must be having fun. I feel like it would be alarming for a seal to be in that bag. More so than a bunny. Because they don't really have legs to balance with. So they're probably getting jostled around quite a bit. Alright, so let's come over here. And then... Have you already been to South Hoof? You haven't? The boat was broken, you say? That's ridiculous! I paid 10 Yorvik shillings each for those boats. Maybe there's a hole or two in the bottom, but they're just there to keep you cool while you're out on the water. Like air conditioning in a car. Why do you look so suspicious, Saga? Oh my gosh. Alright, come on, James. We've got work to do. Okay, okay, the boat may not be in top condition, but I have another. I've rented it out to the guard at the disco so he could practice landing maneuvers on the beach or something. You can go and ask him if you can borrow that one instead. All right, all right. So we're going to go visit the guard, and we're going to go see what he has to say about this disco thing. Onwards! Dun dun dun! Man, that's a pretty horse. There's so many pretty horses. All right, tinkers. I like the tinkers. All right. Hey, security guard. Excuse me. Attention, Saga. How can I be assistance to you on this day? <laughs> oh my goodness. What on earth? You want to borrow a boat from me? Ah, 
You mean the landing craft I borrowed in order to rehearse my crucial beach storming maneuvers. <laughs> Operation Iron Cockroach, as I call it. Huh. There's not much boat to borrow, unfortunately. My beach landing rehearsals became a little too realistic, even for me. No time to waste, though. I realize you're on an important mission, Saga, so I hereby submit my report of Operation <laughs> Iron Cockroach. The time was, uh, oh four, uh, let's see, it was 4.07 yesterday morning, as I was off to see, uh, as I was out to sea off Fort Pinta, carefully and silently approaching the beach. Just next to the diving board, I saw a guard post. The element of surprise was lost, and my position uncovered, so I went full speed ahead to get to the shore before the enemy had a chance to react. Suddenly, I heard a huge explosion. A mine, I thought, so I threw myself straight into the water. Then I realized that the fuel tank on the landing craft had exploded, so swam to land and, ref and retreated to the fort. The enemy guard revealed himself in better light to actually be a particularly suspicious-looking bush. <laughs> So no actual danger was present, and I gave myself to the order. I gave myself the order to stop the exercise. How it went with the boat? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't had a chance to run a re recon on the train yet, so I've got light bulbs to change and the disco bottle to polish first. Hmm. During my retreat, I saw Aline running towards me. She's the lifeguard down the beach on the beach below Fort Pinta. Suppose you could ask her if she saw something that happened to the boat. All right, so here we go. I like him. Oh my gosh, he's cool. All right, so we're gonna head off. We're gonna go down to the beach, and we're gonna see if Aline has seen anything. So it's gonna take us just a minute. All right, slowly, slowly. Man, getting up and down here is a little bit hard, because I always get stuck. And then I worry, like, I'm just gonna ride poor Rose Stone right off this thing. All right, Poppy, little Arctic Poppy. It's a good thing today, apparently, is dealing with a lot of beaches and water. All right, Rosta, we're almost there. Oh, thank goodness. This is probably like the long way around because you have to wiggle down. Next time, we'll just go around the other side. Also, I've heard that at South Hoof, there's even wild horses that you can run into. So that would be really, really fun if you can go and find some wild horses. And apparently, if you get your reputation high enough. Oh, cool. Oh, there's the lifeguard, I guess. But yeah, apparently, if you get your reputation high enough, uh at the South Huff area, then you can go and adopt one of the wild horses. And that's definitely, if that's true, that's definitely one of the first things I wanna work on doing. Cause that just sounds amazing. All right, so, ooh, orange girl. I too like oranges, ma'am. And she has a little seal with a lightning bolt. I would name it like Harry Puffer, perhaps. Hmm. Lovely day today, wouldn't you say? Hi, my name's Aline and I'm the lifeguard here at the beach. What's your name? All right, Operation Iron Cockroach. The guard's accident? I knew it was him sneaking through the bushes. He looked pretty baffled. If I saw what happened to his boat? Yeah, I ran here when I heard the explosion, so I didn't see the actual accident. But whatever ends up in the water here usually drifts ashore along the foreland, which crops out past the, be the bathing area. If his boat didn't sink, I'm pretty sure it would have ended up there. If you find the boat, you could come and let me know, since I need to be sure it won't be dangerous for the people who come swimming here. No problem, my friend. Also, she is totally doing the socks with sandals thing that almost my entire Hawaiian family does. Where you wear the socks and then you wear the sandals. Alright, right on top of them. Oh, is that the boat right there? Slowly, slowly. Rose Stone! We're finding the... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think these are very... I, don't, I doubt the seaworthiness of these things. Alright, so now let's go ahead and let her know about it, that I don't think that this is a seaworthy vessel. <laughs> oh, James, can't you just like shell out a few more shillings and make it so that we can just go ahead? Ah, come on, Rose Stone. She's like, no, I don't want to. I think Rose Stone's more of a, uh, a forest kind of girl. She doesn't seem to enjoy it over here at the beach. Well, just hang in there, Rose Stone. Maybe Melanie Warrior would have preferred to stretch her old legs here. All right, and slowly but surely, Aline, did you find the boat? Bits of it, you say? Hmm. Why are you so interested in a wonky old boat like that anyway? Oh, you need a boat to get to South Hoof, and James's other boats are in pretty much the same shape? Huh, maybe there's a chance you can repair the boat with the parts you found here. Worth a try, right? It's pretty quiet here right now, so I can help you if you'd like. All right. If the other boat is also broken, you probably need to fix that as well. Maybe there's some stuff from the wreck you could use for that. I'll go and take a look at your boat while you look for parts here on the beach that you can use. What do you say? Nice! Have a look along the little peninsula where you found the wreck. Everything that sunk has probably washed ashore there. <gasps> look at the little seal! It's Harry Puffer again! 
<laughs> See you in a while by the pier where your boat is. All right. There we go. So she's headed on over there. And we're going to continue on. So let's go search along the little peninsula, which is adorable. Let's see. Can I can I just like ta -choom! Yes. That's the, that's the way to do it, Rose Stone. Easy there, Rose Stone. All right. There's one piece. So now we need to like search along here. So search along the little peninsula. I wish you could dig for seashells. All of a sudden, I just really want to dig for seashells. There's two pieces. Wow. This is a nice spot. I would come to hang out here pretty often if I could. There we go. Three pieces. And then let's turn. Now, where would we find some more? This is so pretty! I love little paths, little hidden paths with ferns and rocks like this. Oh man, and to like be able to walk along the beach. I'm actually going to be going to the beach pretty soon with my wonderful chips. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon too. Alright, and let's grab this. There we go. One man's wreck is another man's boat. Alright, we'll keep moving. And let's go see her over at the other wrecked boat. This is exciting, you guys. I wonder if we're going to be able to get over to South Hoof from here. All right. And then let's see. Hopefully she'll be able to help us repair it. She seems pretty nifty at these kinds of things. All right. Hello, Aline. Wow, there's some beautiful horses here. Hi again. Looks like you found loads of useful stuff. We'll definitely be uh, able to make use of this. All right. Anything else? Well, Saga, I don't see there being any problems with sealing the hull of your boat with the parts we have here. We just need to get a hold of some kind of glue or sealant, sealant to hold it all together. Are we going to go back to the old lady and make some more dandelion sealant? I would love that. That would actually be adorable. The engine, on the other hand, is a different story. You'll need to find the Rex engine if you're going to have any chance of fixing it. You didn't see the engine on the shore, you say? I guess it sank when the fuel tank exploded on the guard's boat. It probably is on the seabed sea out there by the diving board at the bathing spot. Have a look there and see if you can't salvage it. Here's an anchor from the boat. Perhaps you could use it as a kind of fishing hook to fish up the engine. <laughs> I almost feel like she's like MacGyvering everything together. She's just like, well, looks like we have a boat wreck and a bit of palm frond and a tiny bit of gum. So I'll get a working boat put together for you. Aline, you're the woman I want to have with me on a deserted island. You definitely are. Use the rope to fish out the engine. Come back once you've found it. Do you know how heavy that is, woman? <laughs> and I'll see if I can find a way to use these parts you found in the meantime. All right, so there we go. We need to go and we need to fish the engine out of the water, which should be kind of exciting. Rosestone, you know what? I can tell you don't really enjoy the water. You stay here with our adorable Ar Arctic Glacier Poppy, who has a ridiculously long name, but it's adorable. <gasps> Who's this? I kind of want to run up oh, to the little seal too. I just want to run up to everybody's horses and like pat their horses and pat their animals that they've got. All right, so let's run up here. There we go. And we're going to go fishing. We're going to go fishing for the anchor. All right, anything here? Man, if I could really go fishing. This is so cool. Not a bite. Well, I don't want the anchor to bite. That'd be a little bit weird. What about here? Are we going to get lucky? Is it right here? <gasps> yes! All right! We reeled in the boat engine. Onward we go. Oh, this is so exciting. Orange girl, I love your tinker and your green clothes. And I walked into a tree. That's okay. I just hug in the tree. That's what I do. Oh, look at Rose Stone. I've never noticed that idle animation on her before. Rose Stone, you're so pretty. Don't eat, this, don't eat the sand, though. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat sand. Oh, dear. All right, let's come over here. Aline, deserted island friend. Nice work. Now we'll have enough spare parts and then some. All right, a thin sealant. I reckon I should be able to get the engine going for you, Saga. I was a mechanic at the Yorvik City scrapyard before I became a lifeguard here. I hardly ever saw the sunshine at that scrapyard, so changing career was pretty much the best decision I ever made. Anyway, I saw a barrel of cilient, cilient, for, <laughs> cilient, 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 there we go, further down the pier and... That should do the trick for sealing up the hull. It should have been delivered to my friend Donald the Builder in Yarlaheem, but it's been sitting there for weeks now, so I guess the ferry captain must have forgotten about it. Would you ride over and get it? I'll text Donald now and ask him if it's okay we use it. He'll say yes, so ride over and grab it. Man, you are, you are on top of these things. And then I think we need to grab another thing, so let's just go ahead and talk to her now. 
Well, well, I'm sure you'll we'll get some speed out of this engine eventually. I've got some tools you can borrow, but maybe you could do me a favor in return? Yesterday night, I took a quick little dip down by the pier on the other side of Port Pinta. It was pretty late, around the same time that the guard was out in his little adventure in the boat. When I heard the explosion, I ran out of there. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing and got to the beach as quick as I could. I ended up leaving more than just my shoes. Oh my gosh, all my clothes are still there. A quick little dip balloon. Oh my goodness. Do you think you could go over and grab them for me? Thanks, Saga. Wow, Aline. Okay. I'll go get your clothes <laughs> and the sealant. All right. Well, let's go grab Aline's clothes. So the guard said he was out at like 4.07 in the morning. So Aline was like taking her quick dip like early, early in the morning, in my opinion, not late at night. So, huh. Apparently now we know after hours at the beach, you don't really need to worry about your bathing suit then. Hmm. All right, so apparently I think her clothes are like over here somewhere. So let's go look for them. Ah, oh, Roston, it's so nice to be riding around, going on adventures with you. All right, and then, ah, there we go. Ah, so she left her clothes over here. Um, let's check in this one. <laughs> Poppy, you're so cute. I love all the flowers everywhere now that the weather's a little nicer too. Oh, there's a teddy bear! I didn't know you could have teddy bears you could put in there. That's adorable. All right, and let me grab this. Anything in here? Ah, Ice River, that's a pretty name. Hello, I'm busy now. To see you guys. There we go. All right, so apparently her clothes are like over here. Right there. Oh, oh, there was actually some clothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, one second. They're coming over for a pic. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, and then we're looking for the last piece of clothing, and we got it. So, dip interrupted. Goodness. So, that's actually, it, it kind of cracks me up quite a bit. That, whoa, Roastone, I'm sorry. I just ran you right into that. <laughs> I thought it was going to loop around again, and it didn't. All right, and then let's go this way. It kind of cracks me up that she was perhaps skinny dipping uh, over here. And let's go ahead and wiggle our way up. I guess we're taking the long way. I thought this would kind of lead us back over to Fort Pinta, but it doesn't. It takes you on this really long loop instead. <laughs> well, that's okay, because half the fun of these kinds of beautiful MMORPGs is that you just get lost and you wander around for a long time and you discover new areas and you stumble on something for the first time. And there's something really beautiful about that. I used to love doing that. There you go, Roston. I used to love doing that when, especially when I played Ragnarok way back when. But now Rose Stone, Poppy, we're just talking about serious silly old memories. So now we're gonna work our way back over to the beach. Hopefully I can get there pretty easily. We'll grab this sealant, sealant. Oh my gosh, why is that word so hard today? Who knows? And then we will hopefully be able to get started on our little boat ride and end up at the South Hoof Peninsula which is amazing. That's the second new area that's been added since I've been playing Star Stable just for a couple months. So that's really fun. I love seeing the constant growth and development. And I definitely want a teddy bear for my little, my little pet collection one day. That would be so cute. All right, and then let's go ahead. Come on, Rostone. We're gonna ride on down. And wait, 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 I went too far. I went too far, I went too far, I think. I think I went too far. Yeah, I think the sealant is going to... We need to turn around a little bit. Is it going to be over here? Can I go down here? Ah! Is that it? Oh, it's so tiny! I thought it was going to be in, like, this big giant barrel. I can see why the fairy master would just forget about it. It's just this tiny little barrel tucked to the side. All right. Now let's go ahead and run over. And where is... There she is. Our wonderful friend over here, our MacGyvering awesome friend Aline, who is going to put together the boat for us. All right. Exactly. That's the burl I was talking about. Oh, speak of the devil. A text from Donald. He writes to say that we should just take as much as we need and that there's something, uh, and if there's something that there is, and if there's something there's never a short uh, shortage of, it's sealant. Sounds good, Saga. Donald usually knows what he's talking about. 
Oh, I remember Donald now. He's over at the, the um, island. Or not the island. What am I saying? He's over at the bridge. There we go. So we got that one taken care of. Now you just need to use the sealant to seal the bowl of the hole, the hole of the boat, the bowl of the hoat. <laughs> With the parts from the wreck you found earlier, you shouldn't have any problems making it watertight. I'll just wait here. Just ask if you need anything. Wonderful. So we can get that done. And then, oh, thanks, Saga. They're my favorite clothes. So I was a bit worried they may have gone missing. All right. And then let's see, boat engine repairs. Here are my tools, Saga. I haven't used them in a long time since I left the scrapyard in Yorvik City, but they're still in good condition, as I'm sure you'll notice. You know how to repair an engine, right? <laughs> of course, even I, uh, I am, of course, I'm sorry I even asked. Good luck and let me know if you need anything. What, what, okay. I mean, my dad was a mechanic, but this, this I mean, I don't know, Aline. I think this is a little over the top here. All right, well, let's try this out. Um, and I need to get off. All right. Hang in there, Poppy. Hang in there. She's probably so confused. At least we're staying close to the uh, ocean for Poppy today. All right, so that's repaired. Hey, it's looking better. And then was there something else? Yeah, the sealant. All right, come along, little boat. Come along. We can do this. <gasps> no way! Rosestone! Rosestone, this is fantastic! Progress has been made! All right. And seal the boat. Great! The hole isn't going to let a drop of water in now. Oh, there's a cute little puppy there! Oh, I love seeing all of your guys' pets. You're not a bad mechanic. You could get a job in the scrapyard if you wanted. The engine looks like it was delivered straight from the factory. There we go, Saga. Now your boat is good as new. All you need to do is fill the tank with fuel so you can sail away. Fuel? You didn't get any fuel from James? <laughs> well, without fuel, you won't be getting very far. Probably the probably best you ride to him and ask him for some. I'll get back to lifeguarding the beach for now. It, but it was really nice to meet you. Nice to be able to use my old skills again as well. That doesn't happen much anymore. <laughs> Good luck over at South Hoof. See you around. All right. Thank you, Aline. Aline is so awesome. She has really taken care of so many things for us. So we're going to go ahead and ride over to James and talk with him and see how he's doing. And I bet he's going to make us pay through the nose for... <laughs> bet he is going to make us pay through the nose for the fuel. You can't blame him for being, like, enterprising, but you can only get so far. That's probably the reason he's still stuck on a street corner. If you don't treat people right, then you do you know, It gets back around. It gets back around. James? Uh, boat trip without fuel? Hey, Saga. Have you already been over to South Hoof? You need fuel for the boat, you say? <sighs> fuel is so expensive. You're sure you're necessary? Can't you row? No. Come on now. Okay, okay, I get it. If the lighthouse doesn't light back up again, it'll be a disaster for my businesses. I don't have so much in the way of cash flow right now, Saga, so maybe you've got a good idea of where you could get some hold, a hold of some cheap fuel. Steve? He's got a huge fuel tank, you say? Do you think you could get some from him? Great idea, Saga. That way, it'll be free. Quick, right over to Steve and get some fuel. No time to waste. Oh my gosh. Like, Steve, all the way back over... All the way over there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, let's see. I'm going to ride over there and talk to Steve, and we will continue looking for South Hoof and working our way over to that area next time. And maybe we'll even get a chance to let Rosestone stretch her hooves because I think that she actually prefers being like in the deep, beautiful greenery areas than the beach. But, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens. And what does the map look like now? <gasps> look at that huge area! That's huge! We're gonna have so much fun exploring that. And I can't wait to catch up with that later. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!